For the next 20 minutes or so, we are going to take a nostalgic look back through the decades, looking at Kingsway's achievements and at the staff and students who have passed through the doors. Kingsway opened a school secondary modern school in 1958. At the time there were 228 pupils and the uniforms and fashions were far removed from what they are today. The school was officially opened in 1963 by the Mayor of Chester. The head teacher through this time was Ron Fox, who retired in 1976. I started at Kingsway in 1970 as a maths teacher, and since then a lot has changed. To celebrate the life of Kingsway, the staff and students have worked together on projects, which have resulted in this DVD, a book, an exhibition at the school, a major piece of artwork to be cited in the community, and a dance. I have memories of 36 happy years at Kingsway. I have worked with and taught many f wonderful people. I have been amazed at the response to the reunions and it has been interesting to find out what people are doing now and how far Kingsway spreads throughout the whole world. It is sad that Kingsway is closing, but we always said that if it had to happen, we would go out with style and with dignity. And I know we are a long way to achieving this end. I will now hand you over to the students who are making this DVD. Chris Taylor. Alton Aptor. Matty Rose. Michael Bailey. Paul Luke Jarvis. What will you remember that we guys? For King's Room, we're going to be commemorating the closing of the school. Michael was one of the pupils we're working on it. Um, and Michael's going to be working on it. Um, Lucy's involved. There's quite a few uh, Year Nine and Year Eight pupils working on it. We're going to be designing things to do with the school, and then we've been very lucky to be working with Neil and Denon, who's uh, going to be working with us on the project. Would like to say a few words about what you're doing? Yes. Uh, yes, I am a local artist. I work in clay and uh, we've uh, this morning been uh, uh, doing uh, uh, drawings about uh, the uh, life in school and, uh, and the, the uh, school buildings and uh, we're going to be uh, working on a, on a group project uh, to produce um, a tile panel that's going to be uh, mounted at Kingsway Shop. Uh, this morning, our group has been putting all the photos and all the uh, stories that have been in the local press into chronological order so that when we go to the archives, we can investigate what's missing and we can get um, better copies. For example, this one isn't very good because it's a bit torn and it's not going to look so good in a magazine. And as you can see, we've got a theme going, the flower power of the 60s. And so this is tracking it right through. And um, we've got the 1970s. And Mr. Dennis has been working out which one, what articles are missing, and like what years we need to concentrate on when we go to Chester Archive. <laughs> My name's uh, John Dennis, I'm the current head of Kingsway. Uh, I've been head for only 18 months. Uh, so it's quite sad for me taking up a new post at the school's post uh, uh, so soon. Uh, in my short time here, uh, I found that um, Kingsway is a very special place. Uh, and it's special because of the people in it. Uh, the pupils and the students as, as well as the staff. My name's Diane Close, I'm receptionist at Kingsway High. I've been here for six years 
and when I first started at the school we had 600 plus students and as you can imagine the reception was very very busy and at times it took two of us to keep up with the rate of work that was generated on reception. Mr Benwell. How long have you been working in Kingsway High School? For 17 years. Blimey. Um, More than a life sentence really. <laughs> Turner and I have been at Kingsway High School since yes. 1983, which is ever such a long time, but it doesn't seem that long. Um, the school has changed in lots of different ways, mainly it's more colourful. <laughs>
changes I've seen in the short time I've been here are declining student numbers, uh, my hair falling out a little bit more, uh, but I've thoroughly enjoyed my time here, met some wonderful pupils and some wonderful uh, staff as well, and I'm looking forward to all the reunions at the end of the term. Thank you. How long have you been working at Kingsway High School? Uh, I worked here for just under three years. Um, how much has the school changed? Um, the only thing that's changed really is, well, apart from the odd staff members, the fact that you know, the student numbers have got, so it's got smaller and smaller. Really. I think the staff have got closer as well. Is there anything you'd like to say about Kingsway High School? Um, I've had a great time here. I had a splendid time. I mean, I moved to Chester specifically to work here, and um, you know, I'm, I'm you know, fairly disappointed that it's closing. <laughs> Malcolm Ashman. How long have you been in Kingsway High School? I first came in 1975. What changed over the years? Well, the changes have been absolutely massive. Um, yeah. It was a very big school when I first came. Now nearly over a thousand students. And now it's obviously moved down to 500. But the the whole of the provision in the school has altered. Um, in time, we've uh, developed a much a very big yeah. skill base um, to work with students. Uh, of all different ability levels, a lot of comprehensives tend to focus um, at the very higher ability end in which we do work with, um, but we also now have got a, a staff that can work right across the board and, and address many, many different types of students with different types of abilities and strengths and difficulties. Cooper when I was here and it's Flynn. Flynn's my surname now which is at that wide of Um Date attended the case. I think as far as I can remember it was about 1972 to about 1976. Best experience? I think I always enjoyed the athletics, taking part in the sports and that. I love that. I think it's really rewarding and, you know, because I think because we used to do so well as, you know, in, in what we did with the sports, it was, uh, it was really good. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, Richard Smart. Um, and the date you attended Kingsway High School? Uh, 1992 till 2000. Uh, um, what was your earliest memory at Kingsway? At um, your first day, example? My earliest memory was probably... Um, being in trouble with Mrs. Nixon, who was then head of uh, Year 7, <laughs> I think she was head of Year 7 and 8, 
when uh, I threw a bottle of Tipex across the yard and it exploded on the, on the <laughs> canteen uh, wall and I think the stain is still on the canteen wall at the side there where the, the, the uh, thing, thing hit and that was a good, well that must be about 12 years ago now. I can remember getting that route because I had to come on two buses because I lived in Borton. Um, you couldn't just go to the school that was near you. You had to, because I lived in the city, I couldn't go to Chrysleton, which was up the road, about 20 minutes up the road. You had to come to this school, or one of the schools in the area. This was the only school in the area. So I used to come here on two buses. I used to get one from Borton that brought me into town, and then uh, get another one that brought you all the way up here. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi. When I first came to school in 1990, one of the first things I did was make a video. So it's quite ironic that one of the last things we did was make a video. We really enjoyed the experience. Uh, the children got a lot out of it and learned a lot of new skills in a very, very short time. And I'm really proud of what they've produced. Thank you. I thoroughly enjoyed my time here. It's a very friendly school. Um, it's been a fantastic school to work in with fantastic people. They were really nice, the staff are nice, uh, the children are well ordered and well behaved. It is a caring school um, and I'm very sad to see it close. It's always been a, a school that has been very much a caring school. Uh, brilliant. Brilliant. Splendid place to work. I think Kingsway is a really friendly um, best experience. Thank you.